。大家好，大家好，我是李贝，我们继续学习标准教程六下 ，HSK 六下。All right, what are we doing? More vocabulary. <laughs> Sorry, for the time being, this is the best I can do with my um, camera. It's not ideal, but it's not too bad, I guess. Where were we? Um, <laughs> don't mind. Don't mind. We talked about right. Don't mind. Don't mind. Don't mind is artery. That's on the way out, right? And then, don't uh, mind is on the way back to the heart. Um, all right. Shuju, shuju. It's in substance. Yeah, you can see these sorts of things are very abstract. Essence. Um, essence in what sense? The word, yeah, essence in English, um, it's used in many uh, contexts. Shu ju. Shu ju. I'm just noticing. Why is it so shaky? No, it's. Boom, boom, sorry, I'm just adjusting. Anyway, should you? I, I bought something to put the um, camera on. Hopefully that works. Um, it hasn't arrived yet, though. <laughs> should you? Should you? All right. <laughs> so what is benji? Essence, I guess. <laughs> yeah, essence, nature, innate character. All right, that's... Um, all right. Jishu Benshin saw who you're the Gumbin Shu Sing. A day Shu the Singji. A drunk Kwang Hu Bajan Chi no Chi Jue Ding Zo Yong. A gun Sien Sang Sang Chi Bien. Um, so it's the determining factor. In something's function, <laughs> something in that ballpark, hey? Um, Benji, Benji Shan, Benji Chabi, hmm, essentially, yeah, <laughs> this sort of thing. Um, what are we we're looking at? Shu Ju. So it's the essence of a Shu Ju thing. <laughs> Alright, grasp the essence of the problem. I use the term Jing Sui. Mm, yeah, it's also Zhu Gan. Maybe in that one you can use Zhu Gan. Shu Ju Shang. When he did Shu Ju, Chu de Shu Ju Xing Jin Jan. Make substantial process, like essential. It's not essential in the sense of important, but mm, yeah. <laughs> Lacking mm, essence, <laughs> substance. Okay, so we see in terms of problems and questions, right? Matter. So that seems to be what we should learn here. I don't know. It's one of these abstract words that you have a vague idea what it means, but you never really get a hang of it. Okay, thanks. Next is Shuji. You never really get a hang of these ultra abstract words. Uh, well, maybe you do after like 20 years or something. <laughs> so, all right. Essence. Because, I mean, the word essence in English has many meanings. Um, and the shuji in Chinese could be much the same. Or at least it, there's different things have different essences. Um, <laughs> uh, all right. Are you awake now, ChatGPT? Shuji. Substance, essence. It seems I should just say when he does shu ju, shu ju ju shu de ben ju. Oh, that's the same as the dictionary. He xin huo nei zai de ben xin, ben xin. Hmm. Inherent qu 
quality, <laughs> the nature of something, right? Um, core or intrinsic nature. 它强调的是事物内在的本质的特征，而不是表面的外在的形式。so not surface or like superficial like in, intrinsic property. Presumably, if you took something and you took away its shi it would not be that something anymore, I guess. But something in that ballpark. Shu um, I didn't type in shi right? Yeah. Uh, biao xiang. What is Biao Xiang? Outward appearance. Yet another way of saying outward appearance. Uh, oh, dusty or something. Maybe it's smoky. I got the windows open, so maybe it's coming in from outside. So, this this doesn't seem like a coincidence. It seems like I should just say What about this one? Um, I'll look at the example sentence first. Um,我们需要更多的数据和深入的研究。Um, so this he is connecting this. This the implies it. This is functioning as a noun, and this is functioning as a noun. So we need, yeah, we need more data and deep research. All right. Anyway, the essence of this phenomenon. All right. We'll just look at this example. 在解释法律时，法官必须理解法律条文的实质，而不仅仅是文字表面。So the essence of the 条文, <laughs> the clause, the essence of the legal clause, and not just what it, what the characters say. Yeah. All right. Um, 就像政策的实质。是为了促进经济增长，而不仅仅是短期的财政刺激。All right, so it's the essence of the policy, the essence, so the the essence of the law. 哲学和理论, okay, philosophy, 马克思主义的本呃的实质在于些是。no, 揭示, 对吗? 揭示, 揭示, uh, 资本主义社会的矛盾, all right, ChatGPT, um, getting a bit political. Um, so the essence of Marxism is exposing the current contradictions in capitalism, <laughs> uh, or oh, capitalistic society. 科学理论的实质, um, all right. Einstein相对论的实质是时间和空间的相对性. Oh, okay. The theory, Einstein's theory of relativity. <laughs> the sentence starts with Einstein's theory of relativity. The essence of Einstein's theory of relativity is the, well, the relativeness of time and space. Yeah. Just how they interrelate, I guess. All right. Um, won't go through all that. And how does it differ from... Jing, I use Jing Sui. I don't handwrite Jing Sui because it's incredibly hard to handwrite Sui. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Jing Sui. But I type Jing Sui. I say Jing Sui. Are they the same thing? Shu 
但他们在具体用法和侧重点上有一呃一些区别。下面是呃对这两个词语的详细比较。哎，呃，实质指的是事物的本本质。叭叭叭叭叭。Let's just give examples. Um, when she we looked at that. Let's go to here. Uh, 孔子，孔孔子，孔子，呃，孔子思想的精髓在于仁和礼。礼 ，no， 礼是 the term。礼，仁和礼 ，benevolence and human human. I thought it was benevolence and um, 礼。Etiquette, I guess. Propriety. <laughs> 这本书的精髓在于它对人性的深刻剖析。All right, the essence of this book. So this 精髓 seems more general, maybe. 精髓。嗯，这幅画的精髓在于色彩的运用和构图的巧妙。构图的巧妙。Oh, 巧妙 is a noun as well as an adjective. That's interesting. So usually you would say 巧妙的构图 right? But this is 构图的巧妙 Seems both are okay. Um, okay, 这首诗的精髓 All right, so it's kind of the same structure. Um, 工匠呃精神的精髓 Yeah, pla pla pla. The industry, the industry. All right. Not really sure the difference. Didn't really figure it out. But let's move on. Shuji. Um. Oh, okay. Next is four tone, four tone. No, five tone, second tone, four tone, four tone. Four tone, four tone. Four tone. You may recognize ji from um such words as ji hui. Fourth turn, fourth turn. Whoops, a daisy. Sorry, one second. <laughs> All right. Um, Ji Hui. Oh, fourth turn, Qing Shi. Uh, neutral turn. <laughs> Taboo. Yeah, Ji Hui. Both a noun and a verb. Unlike the English taboo. Um, the Chinese taboo can function as a verb. Ji Hui Bu Yan. Yeah. 嗯，江先生机会人家叫他的外号。Yeah, so you, it's like I don't like it, or I when people call me 外外号 nickname. All right, so I 机会 something. It means I don't like it. Basically, <laughs> I avoid his taboo. Um, yeah, 机会 So this is uh 四五鸡蛋。是 ，Yeah, both of, all these characters are a bit, except for 不，呃，五，是五，五 ，You know, 是 is 大四的四 ，This one, 大四 ，wantonly without restraint, right? So presumably 四五鸡蛋，四 is like wantonly without restraint, 五 is without 鸡。Abu, Dan. I don't know. Four Ji Dan. Four Ji Dan. Four Ji Dan. Four Ji Dan. Jie. Four Yi Wang Wei. All right. To behave unscrupulously. Hmm. Okay. 好，顾忌。哎呀，顾忌。顾忌 is like scruples. So, 鸡蛋 is 顾忌 ，OK？ 鸡蛋 scruple， 顾忌 scruple <laughs>。畏惧，畏惧 is like dread， right？ 畏 ，dread。So， 啊，鸡蛋顾忌，畏惧。So， 四五鸡蛋 ，unbridled， unscrupulous。So I think part of this is like， um。You're not afraid of doing something. You're just doing you know, a lot of it, 
not necessarily unscrupulous. Unscrupulous means you're... Mm, yeah, I guess here you are unconcerned whether or not it hurts someone or how it impacts someone else. So, yeah, it's like, eh, don't care who you. So, active aggression. Hmm. All right, wanton aggression. So, so let's just go chat with you. ChatGPT uh, can help us with this. Thanks. Next is so that. So that. What's it say in this dictionary? Absolutely unrestrained, unbridled. Yeah, without the slightest scruple. <laughs> let's just look at the examples. Is this yelling or something? All right. Um, yeah, sometimes you get hooligans. Maybe that sort of thing. This year in Su Jidan the Hohai Huan Jing Wei Ho Guo Hao Bu Zai. So they're recklessly destroying the environment and completely don't care about the environment. How good? So what was the first one? Jingwei, Bang Si, Bang Si. Also, yeah, want want on unbridled. Um, so this is like uncontrolled, unrestrained kind of thing. All right. So it seems like it has a few meanings. This one. So this is the unscrupulous, like not caring about who it hurts and whether or not it's proper to do something. Mm. What is Qinjan? Invade and occupy Tamanda Chenyi. So this is like, this seems like it should be violate their rights. We looked at a word not that long ago, way, way fan, right? Um, this, was it this one? Way fan. Oh, way fan, way fan. Could it be way fan rather than... Um, Qin Zhan. Qinjian is like you invade a country. <laughs> or maybe it's wave. Is it this one? Um hmm. Qin yeah, it should be invade a country, right? Uh Dijun Shi Bing Qin Jan uh Qin the Gai Dao. Gai, this guy it means the present uh, or this <laughs> the one we're talking about at the moment gay dao this island um so you need further context to work out which island that's referring to wo bing bu xiang qin zhan ni de cai chan yeah this is maybe it's used figuratively maybe it's, it's fine it's just used figuratively uh, what is so never yeah um so never worried about being uncovered or exposed okay so Tasu Jidan the Sahong, he lies without restraint or without scruples. Yuan Yi, one way, arbitrary, one way, rash action. Alright. They negashi tong jujo. Tong juju is um what is it? <laughs> the ruler, right? Yeah, ruler, tong juju, tong jujo, jo. 同居者, 
，肆无忌惮的压迫人民，又会陷入混乱。Yeah, all right. So the ruler, um, like unbridledly, without restraint, oppress the people. 某些年轻人在网络上肆无忌惮的发表极端言论。造成了不良影响。So the youth, the young people, youngsters, are on the internet, um, spreading extreme opinions, um, and they're doing it without restraint, and it's leading to uh, unfavorable uh, results. Yeah, <laughs> this feels like bullying. Yingxiang sounds kind of. Weak and flimsy. The language here is weak and flimsy, and here it's like, yeah, we're on the internet, sending、um, all sorts of nasty things. He, ah, he, has money, has money, um, ah, being, what, being, 为所欲为 Oh, 为所欲为 Yeah, 为所欲为 Do the, the being is just 就 Right, 为所欲为，啊、uh, ，不顾法律和道歉。Oh, sorry. We'll this one. 为所欲为 ，do whatever you want. Okay, so we're looking at these. I missed the this heading. 横行霸道 This is tyrannical, right? To tyrannize. 他经常在学校里横行霸道，欺负同学。And what is this? 恣意妄为，恣意妄为 ，to behave unscrupulously. We saw that, didn't we? 在没有约束的情况下，有些人会恣意妄为，做出极端行为 ，extreme behavior. Okay, 恣意妄为。反义词 ，what is this? 呃，谨谨谨小慎微。呃，呃。Let's not go through these. 循规蹈矩 Oh, okay. Let's just comply by the rules or something. <laughs> 行为放肆 Yeah, that's pretty long answer, isn't it? <laughs> All right, you get the idea. 肆无忌惮 What's next? 损坏损坏 Uh, means to、uh, damage, spoil. Used with an object, usually I think. Sun Huan, you often destroy someone's reputation. Um, uh, for things like damages, perhaps to your workplace, you might use Sun Xu. So, what things can be Sun Huan? Sun Huan, what things can be Sun Huan? Oops. What things can be soon? What I would say, reputation. You damage someone's reputation. Um, you can 破坏 someone's car. <laughs> 你破坏了我的汽车。你肆无忌惮的。I don't think you can. 肆无忌惮的。Um, what's it called? 闯。On Hongdong, you recklessly went through the red light. Poor white water chief, Jun Fan. All right, Sun Huan. What things can be damaged? Um, so you can damage Dongxi things like physical things. Dianzi Champion, 手机、电脑、电视等电子设备。Um, 不小心。掉在地上的手机屏幕被严重损坏了。So the your phone on your screen um is damaged. 损坏 OK. 家具、桌子、椅子、沙发等。例句：搬家的时候，几件家具被损坏。OK. So you damage furniture while moving. All right. So you can damage things. So we, these are both fades of you, fades of you. Did you notice? Um, 
，原来我损坏，我不小心损坏了我的桌子。Would you say that? I don't know. Can you say? 我不小心，呃，损坏我的桌子。Sounds a bit weird. <音>就由于不注意和呃意外情况，导致桌子受到破坏和损坏。嗯。OK， 我不小心，嗯，摔坏了，摔摔坏，摔坏了手机。Oh, that's a good one. Drop and break your phone. 摔坏了。Yeah, maybe, maybe there are just better choices for words than 损坏 which might be why I don't see it very often used like that. 我损坏了 X. Um, 他不小心打翻了茶杯 ，tipped over the cup. 打翻了，嗯，茶杯，弄坏了桌面，呃，桌布 ，destroyed the tablecloth。我们不小心弄坏了花瓶，也弄。I like this 弄。弄 is the arbitrary verb, the verb you use when you don't know which verb it is <笑>。弄。嗯，小孩子玩耍时不小心损坏了电视机。Uh, okay, so this is subject, the children, verb, broke, object, TV. He 不小心碰倒了呃台灯，碰倒也碰倒了台灯，结果灯罩损坏了。嗯、um, ，so 罩 ，you probably know 口罩，嗯<笑>、um, ，口罩呃、uh, 眼罩。Oh, <laughs> um. So, uh, 灯罩 is will be a lamp cover or something like that. Right. Let's go back. Where were we? Um, where were we? Oh well, ChatGPT generated a lot. <laughs> All right. So let's get this one. 呃，突然停电导致冰箱的压缩机损坏了。压缩机 compressor is it? I I I I don't know how a fridge operates. 由于操作不当，工厂的一台机器被损坏了。So due to misuse, 操作不当，不当 fourth time 不当。建筑物 ，so buildings， 地震导致许多屋呃房屋严重损坏 ，so earthquake destroyed buildings， many buildings， 洪水冲毁了桥梁，许多公共设施受到损坏。嗯，水灾，呃，使图书馆的许多书籍受到损坏。All、right， 电脑病毒损坏了被呃 ，no， 硬盘上的重要数据。So、the computer virus destroyed my, uh important data on the hard disk. All right， 自然环境，台风。损坏了农田里的庄呃庄稼 ，so the typhoon destroyed crops in the field on the farm or something。非法呃采矿活动严重损坏了当地的生态系统。Um, uh, unlawful 采矿 ，unlawful mining I guess mining。Unlawful mining activities seriously dis,、uh, damage the local environment. 一次严重的车祸使车辆严重损坏。Yeah, a car crash destroyed the cars. 洗衣机操作不当导致衣服 no 衣物损坏衣物。Okay, I'm just gonna say 衣服。<laughs> 
seems like there's quite a few words. Mm. Um, so his leg is destroyed, mm, injured. Um, so xujiu is uh, intoxication. It's not just you're having a, a little bit to kind of say goodnight. You're, you're just getting seriously drunk kind of thing. All right. So it seems you can sun huai a lot of things. All right. What's next? Ying xiang. Ying xiang. And I want to, um, yeah, tend to incline to, I want to mix this up with uh, pian xiang. So, well, I'm going to add pian xiang. Because both of them are common. Um, next, let's look at qing xiang. Qing xiang. And pian xiang. So, so what? So inclinations. Was there was one that meant one you can use for like your what do you call it? Your sexual inclinations. Um, you know, gay straight. That sort of thing. Um, we'll get to that, I guess, while we're waiting for ChatGPT. Trend tendency orientation. So you can see why it's like sexual orientation. Um partial towards something, prefer inclined. Alright,所以這個。你想句,呃,人和書在某個方面表現出的趨向和偏好。偏好對嗎?偏好對。偏好is like 用法,呃,激励句,他在选举,no,他在选择,他在选择职业时,更倾向于稳定的工作, yeah, so inclined to more stable jobs. So if I read this, I get the feeling that this person he likes a stable do job and would sacrifice salary for a more stable, not having to job hop kind of job. warm, humid, right? Damp, I think it means humid here. Okay, 近年来人们的消费情向逐渐转向健康食品 So here, this is functioning as a noun. So, 消费情向, your um, consumer, your purchasing behavior, purchasing tendencies, consumption trends, I don't know. 现代学，呃，现代教育更加，嗯，倾向于培养学生的创新能力。So um, modern education is more inclined to cultivate a student's innovation. Yeah, <laughs> innovation skills. 孩子在游戏中表现出的倾向。可以反映他们的兴趣. Oh, okay, so, so if a child likes a certain type of game, it'll indicate their interests, all right? So they yeah, that's maybe, okay, it's an example. 
，就像调查显示，年轻人有明显的呃环保情绪，倾环保倾向。So the youth, um, uh, clearly have an environmental tendency. Yeah, well, they have to live in it, don't they? <laughs> 偏向，他说 ，All right. 他他在口味上偏向于甜食。Yeah, so this is partial towards food, right? Certain types of food, sweet food for this person. 这个品牌的广告宣传偏向于年轻人。So this brand's advertising, um. Is, in some view, is aimed more at youth or something? Prefers youth, inclined towards youth. I think maybe that. Okay, ah, 表示不平衡。法官的判决时，呃，在判决时不应该有任意偏向。Um, here you would say 偏见 prejudice rather than 偏向 Maybe 偏向 is more. Gentle version of that. 媒体的报道有时会偏向于某个 no 某一方的观点。So media reports sometimes will prefer um the the standpoint of one party. 市场需要的变化会导致嗯供应链。供应链 This is like a supply chain, right? 供应链 Yeah. 偏向某些特定产品 So the supply chain is inclined towards certain products. 公司发展策略偏向于技术创新 All right. So the company's development strategy is inclined towards technology. All right. All right. Anyway. So what was the difference actually? Let's go back. 倾向于，比较倾倾向强调的是偏斜。Yeah, so 偏斜 is 偏向 is like you prefer X instead of Y, whereas 倾向 is like you're going in that direction or towards that. I guess. 强调的是趋向和偏好。Yeah, they both say 偏好，对不对？通常表示较为普普遍的趋势和相倾向。Yeah, ChatGPT does this. Defines one word in terms of itself. 嗯，啊，使用范围不同。OK， 用广泛的应用于描述态度、趋势和行为的。So this is more general, is it? 描述，嗯 ，OK， 不平衡的状态。So an imbalanced situation. Imbalanced state, and what's this one? It's just example sentences, right? 倾向于稳定的工作 and 偏向于天气 like prefers sweet food as opposed as opposed to non sweet food, and um this one is it um I guess is heading towards a more stable job is more inclined to it. So they're pretty similar, aren't they? Anyway, what's next? 分寸，分寸 is a propriety, proper limits for speech or action. Yeah, I call it propriety. Propriety, right? That's the English word. 分寸 So what was that in the movie Pirates of the Caribbean? And um, um, what what's his name's character? Orlando Bloom's character, ah,、uh, Will Turner, um, yeah, he, he was said to have a sense of propriety, but then, um, yeah, then he became a pirate. So you know, a sense of propriety. How do you spell it? Propriety. Hmm. Propriety. This one. In fact, how do you pronounce it? <laughs> I've never actually studied this. Eddie, where is the sound? Proprietary. Proprietary. No, that's not that one. <laughs>、uh, propriety. 
This one. Propriety. 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 Okay, propriety. This is the word. Propriety. Propriety. A sense of propriety. I think this is Bintu. Um, a land of propriety and righteousness. I don't see it used here. What did they translate it to? Zheng Dan Propriness? Yeah, um, this is like dignified, I think. Li etiquette. Hmm, is it different? So let's actually let's just ask it. Does Fun Sun differ from propriety? Not the same thing. Proper limits for speech or action. Is it not propriety? What's the definition of propriety? It's here somewhere, right? Yeah. That's this one, right? Details of rules behavior conventionally considered to be correct. Yeah, it's propriety. Or decorum. Decorum works. Appropriateness, maybe? Didn't send. What's going on? Benson hope propriety. Uh Maybe Fendia is like ballpark or something. So it's like the scope of words and actions that are considered appropriate. Something like that, maybe. What is Fendia? I don't know. Uh, 不过分也不不足，也不不足。Can <laughs> you say不不足? So is is an adjective. 不足 meaning like say deficient or inadequate. Inadequate, let's say let's say inadequate. 不不足. Can you say 不不足? Uh, doubt. I doubt this one. 不不足. <laughs> I don't know. Can you say "bubuzu"? Yeah, I'm declaring this mm, illegitimate. Yeah, I don't think you can say "bubuzu." <laughs> the 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 duplicated "bu" is "y," of course. Um, yeah, <laughs> "bubuzu." <laughs> but maybe Chatimichi doesn't recognize it because "buzu" is like. An adjective, it's like, oh, you can put bu before an adjective. But <laughs> all right. Zai peeping bear and shear, yao jui jang wo fun tu, bo yao shanghai doi fang de zi zun xin. It's like self respect or something. Yeah, self esteem may be better. So you need to. Within the norms. Propriety, there, it's in this dictionary. Uh uh Yeah, so dong this means to understand. It's usually used with uh, this dong. Dong. Uh, when you're um First learning Chinese, you use dong, and you, you use it for everything, meaning to understand. Um, and you probably shouldn't use Mingbai or Lidia. Um, 
yeah, dong, dong. You often talk about children, especially very young children. You would say, shi. They don't understand things. It's like, all right, they broke the TV, but they have no concept of what a TV is, this sort of thing. So this is dong de fun chun. Yeah. So you like have some kind of concept of propriety. Yan qing shi du. So it's a good balance, not too gentle, not too soft, uh, not too hard. And tan tan is like negotiation. Yanjang shi tada yu mo gan ba wo de hen ha. Yo fun sun de tiao dong, no, tiao dong de fun sun. What? All right. So when giving a speech, his sense of humor. Yeah, I'm a little bit, I'm a bit skeptical about this one. Tada your Morgan, his sense of humor. Maybe it should say Ta your more. Not Tada your Morgan. I think this sentence is not quite right. Your fun sunde, Diao dong. Uh, can you So with a sense of propriety, he yeah, I think you can use this. I have encountered this right? Kind of like inspired the mood or something like this. Yeah, it's not in the dictionary. Yeah, don't bring into play, you know, kind of maybe mobilize. Like, there's people in the audience, you kind of arouse them, you stimulate them in the um, by giving an arousing speech. Truly, Maldon Shi, Yao Yo Fun Sun de Jin Xing Tiao Jie. So, this Tiao Jie we talked about. When we studied Tiao Jie Arshan Arshan, this is Arshan Sancho. Um, it means to mediate, I guess. In um, so we've got a Maldun here. It probably doesn't mean contradiction, but means this kind of conflicting views. When when faced with uh, or dealing with conflicting views, you need um, to mediate with a sense of propriety. Bi mian shuang fang chong tu sheng di. Um, so, so you upgrade their dispute. <laughs> Can you say that? A little bit skeptical. Spoil. <laughs> yeah, you can't excessively spoil your child, but also can't be too strict. Propriety. Did you give me examples in English? All right, the utmost propriety. Yeah, do it. There's do it. Hmm, kind of similar. Maybe it's not worth doing it. Here you go. You can look that up. <laughs> uh, her speech was a model of propriety. All right. Anyway, sorry, that's my copy. <laughs> What's next? Uh, okay, cha da hao chu. Yeah, cha da hao chu. It means just right. To be just perfect. I'd say just just right. Cha da hao, cha da hao chu. Um, just right. Hao da. Um, yeah. So usually it's like not too, I don't know, not too heavy, not too light. It's just right. Um, that's a cereal brand in Australia, if you don't know. Cha da hao chu. Yeah, just right. So the ending of the novel was just right. Sorry. Why is it on an angle? 
I need to line everything up. This is yeah. Um, yeah, that's all it really is. Um, yeah, well, I don't know why it's those four characters though. Cha, cha, cha is um cha dang the cha. Cha cha no, no, that's a different usage. I think. I think it's cha dang. It's fun. Proper suitable fitting. So it's maybe cha dao hao chu. It's so fitting. It's how it has hao chu. Hao chu is like a good thing, I guess. Um, how no hao chu. Yeah, cha dao hao chu. I I don't know. You can explain to me in the comments why why it's those four characters. I don't really know. What's next? Shu fei. Yeah, we've seen this quite a few times. Um, shu. They, um, yeah, so he, in in this kind of structure, Xu means right, Fei means wrong. Um, yeah, you're doing the right thing, you're doing the wrong thing that, in that sense. Xu Fei. Um, uh, can you help me with Xu Fei, please? How uh, is Xu and Fei used and uh, can you give me uh, example uh, phrases which involve shit and be in with this meaning, please? Shi Fei Tong Tang Ji Zheng Chue He Yu Cu Shan Yu E Yeah, this one Shan Yu E Like it's good versus bad kind of thing <laughs> Evil uh, Correct versus mistaken So Cu is a little bit different to mistaken It's like incorrect or improper mm. Mistaken Yeah, it's not It's not easy to precisely translate it into English Because it's a bit different yeah, so what this? Uh So this is this differentiate between um right and wrong. So sorry. So you might um, say that people don't differentiate between right and wrong. They just do whatever they want. Um, and maybe children, when they get older, they start to differentiate between right and wrong. Mm. Yeah, you need to teach children how to di differentiate between right and wrong. Um, yeah. So chu, we sure why chu. Do you remember we studied why chu? Why chu meaning to warp. You warp someone's meaning. So this chu, ju. Why is it chu? Chu ju. I don't know why there is a chu. Chu ju. Oh, okay. Crooked and straight. Shu fei chu ju. Right and wrong. Crooked and straight. Merits and limits. Pros and cons. Oh, okay. All right. Pros and cons. First time I've encountered that one. 剧情的是非曲折，还需要进一步调呃调查。So you, we need to continue analyzing, investigating the matters, pros and cons. 是非曲折。All right, that's the kind of chongyi they put on the HSK exam. They'll have it on the text, and then they'll underline it and say, "What do you think this means?" You're meant to infer it from the context. Um, if you happen to know what the Chongyi means because you've studied it, you get bonus points, basically. <laughs> yeah, yeah, or you get a very quick um, answer to a question. <laughs> and you can save the time for other things. Dispute, dispute, I don't know. Oh, Bubble spot, sketchy area. Okay. 
So I'll just read the example. Hmm, so we'll try our best to avoid this trouble spot in order to avoid, uh, I don't know, giving rise to, and ca yeah, causing unnecessary mafa trouble. 同事之间的这场是非之争，最终呃有领导来解决。So, um, 是非之争。So I don't know. Zhong is dispute, right? Something like that. 决争论，争论谁对谁错。Okay. So you're arguing who's right, who's wrong. Um, all right. So, Yong Yu Ping Lun, Jie Fei Guan, is this black and white thinking? Um, Jie Dui Shu Fei De Kan Fa Huo Biao Jun. Oh no, it's standards of right and wrong. Yi Ge Ren De Shu Fei Guan, Wang Wang Shou Qi Cheng Zhang Huan Jing He Jiao Yu De Ying Xiang. Yeah, so this Qi is like a universal pronoun. Here it kind of means the person. This eager end is not a specific person, it's just an arbitrary person. Yeah, so someone's uh, sense of right and wrong is often influenced by the environment they grew up in and their education. Or, or, and their education. Um, Shi Fei Dian Dao. Dian Dao is like upside down, upside down, right? So Shi Fei Dian Dao. You turn upside down. Do you know Mr. Squeal? <laughs> Mr. Squeal. Sorry. Blackboard. Mr. Squeal, Blackboard. This is Blackboard from Mr. Squeal. Mr. He would always say, upside down, upside down. So that's where I'm getting it from. <laughs> I'm not sure if anyone knows this, but that's Mr. Squeal. He is Mr. Squeal with lots of fun for everyone. Yeah. Anyway. So instead of the drawing being upside down, the what's right and wrong is upside down. So what's right is wrong and what's wrong is right. So some people for for their own interests or when um yeah, it says for their own interests. Um take matters and turn them upside down. <laughs> All right. Shi Fei Dui Cuo. So I just want to see Shi Fei Shan. Fei Shan Fei Er. Ah, yeah. Well, this one Fei Hei Ji Bai, but this is not Shi Fei De Fei. This Fei is. The negation fei. <laughs> so fei hei, not black, ji bai. So if something's not black, it's white, right? Fei hei ji bai. So you often talk about black and white thinking. Um, if some, yeah, yeah it's a lot, used a lot in psychology because in reality, no one's really like that, right? No one is purely evil, purely good. Um, yeah. So there's other ones, right, with Shi and Fei. There's other um, these contain Shi and Fei, right, from uh, classical Chinese. We need to No, no, Fei Fei. No, oh, There are some other ones. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Do I have any written down at hand? No. Verify you are human. I am verified as human. So, let's put it again. 
Here's Mr. Squiggle with lots of fun for everyone. Oh, we're switching to English now, aren't we? All right. No, I mean, I mean, maybe. So maybe ChatGPT just doesn't know. Ah, shu fei zhi xin ren, ah ren jie you ji. Is it uh, okay? It is actually a saying. Shu fei zhi xin ren jie you ji. So a heart that can differentiate um, between right and wrong, I guess. Um, everyone has one, basically. <laughs> I think that's what it means. Shu keren. What's that? Shu shu bu keren. Oh, all right. You don't necessarily have to put the shit and fade together. Anyway. What's next? Tan tao. Tan tao. Uh, okay, so tao mean to discuss. Tan. I think it's like to explore through discussion. Tan tao. Um, to, yeah, it says to discuss as the translation, but of, obviously there's like 20 different ways of saying that. The translating discuss and how uh, it's kind of in depth or something, is it? Study, consider, deliberate, yeah. And how uh, and how an exploratory visit, okay. Um, oh, dui jin ma. Yuni. What? <laughs> delve. He uses delve. I can't. Uh, do we? Jinma. Oh, okay. So Jinma acupuncture. <laughs> acupuncture anesthesia. Okay. That explains why I did not understand that. Um, yeah, there is a word in Chinese which is called Jin Dui. And it's this Dui and is this Jin. <laughs> <laughs> but this is backwards. This is Dui Jin Ma Yuan Ni. So, in relation to acupuncture anesthesia, the principles thereof, Zuo Ji Bu De Tan Tao. So, um, it's like delve, delve a step further. Tong Bu Tong, no, Tong Bu Tong, Jiao Du Dui. What? <laughs> Oh, tong, bu tong jiao du. Yeah, see, tong bu is a word, right? Tong bu. But here, the tong and bu are used separately. Tong, bu tong jiao du. Dui wen ti jin qing tan tao. Um, so from different angles, discuss the problem, <laughs> the, whatever, the topic. Let me Yeah, I think it's like unspecific inquiry into a problem. Um, the entire problem or question or topic is considered on topic, and you can explore in different ways. Inquire into. Woman, so we explored, explored several solutions to the problem. Yeah, this is what politicians say. <laughs> yeah. Um, kind of, yeah, anyway. J Ling Dao, J Ling Yu, Ling Yu field, sorry. J Ling Yu Zhong, your Shido Wen Ti Hai Mei Yoren Tan Dao. Or Hai Si Tan Dao Guo. All right, much of this field is un un unacceptable. All right, so it looks like Wen Ti is a fairly strong co-location because you can see Tan Tao Wen Ti, Tan Tao Wen Ti. Oh, actually, this is Tan Tao Feng Feng Fa. <laughs> Tan Tao, yeah, Feng Fa. Tan Tao Wen Ti, Tan Tao Wen Ti, Tan Tao Yuan Ni. Tan. This is a bit different, isn't it? Tan Tao Jie Neng. Silu, what is Jianong Silu? Jianong, 
Oh. <laughs> okay, dear now, save energy. I know that. I just temporarily forgot it. Still a way of thinking. Explore energy saving ways of thinking. I don't know what that means. I need more context. Um, all right. Do you think that's okay? It's kind of self explanatory, this word. I don't think it's worth going. Um, I'm going to uh, too deep. Next is show e, show e profit gains. Um, yeah, show e. So uh, there's a few words that mean profit, like li run. I remember investigating this at some point. Ah, oh. yeah, you can kind of see here at the bottom. Ah, oh, I can't show you <laughs> here. I put this showy and showy, <laughs> a little bit different. And here I've studied different homes. <laughs> Can't really see, but all right. Showy prophet. There's Li Run, and then I guess there's Sun Shi, which will be antonym. Okay, let's discuss it. Prophet. Next, I oh, also need to know Feng Shou. Uh, showy, showy. Uh, can you help? me with this please uh, along with synonyms and antonyms um all right i, I mostly just want the example sentences uh do sound told the daylighter long holder show ye okay so here we go show ye yeah, earnings, profit. Feng hao, meaning good. <laughs> good in the sense of this, generous, ample, like plentiful profits. Um, so we see a kind of a collocation here. If we want to describe shou yi as, um, as large, uh, good profits, we would say feng hao de shou yi. Maybe there's other ones as well. A long-term long -term profit, right? Long-term profit. And this is being used somewhat figuratively, right? So concrete profit, concrete benefits, I guess. So synonyms, 同义词, so Li Run. Yeah, I don't quite know the difference. But maybe one is one is after tax, this sort of thing. Um Alright, this is a little strange. Like so they're talking about last year's profit. But they talk, if it's increased a lot, then they're comparing last year's profit with the profit the year before, right? Um, yeah, usually you compare this year's profit with last year's profit. So it's a bit of a weird sentence, I think. We bought. We bought is like a return on investment or something. Re -re return? Oh, among other phrases. Yeah. A uh, generous return on his nuli hard work, I guess. And li yi, li yi. This is interest. Hmm. Benefit. Okay, benefit. Hmm. Benefit as a noun. Uh, so economic benefit. Uh, broad economic benefit. Shi would be the antonym, losses and damages. Instead of um, shou yi, instead of profit, you have losses. Um, kui sun, yeah, this is also losses. This is deficit, right? Kui sun, hmm, a little bit different. And cheng ben, cheng ben, no, this isn't, oh, this can be used for costs. Yeah, a little bit like that, cheng ben. Um, but usually this is costs in like, you pay for machinery and so on. 
。这笔投资导致了巨大的损失。This investment led to major losses. 今年我们遭受了嗯巨额亏损，巨额 large 亏损 loss. Okay, so 损失 and 亏损 come both way. 嗯，降低成本是提高利润的一个重要途径。Oh, we talked about 途径 not that long ago, actually. So one of the major pathways for decreasing, and、uh, not for increasing profit, is to decrease expenses, costs. Yeah. So maybe you will find、um, a new、uh, supplier of your goods or something like this, or if you're able, to, if you have. Purchasing power. Maybe you can negotiate prices. All right. All right.、Uh, the other one we need to know is feng shou. Feng shou. I guess it's feng hou de shou yi. Um, 获得又多又好又好的收成，收成。So okay. So the shou here is. Harvest in the sense of crops pertaining to agriculture. However, a lot of the time it does not.、Uh, here, actually, it says it. Yu qu de hao cheng ji. So it's a metaphor for obtaining good cheng ji grades or results or something. Okay. Xiao mai lian nian feng shou, lian nian consecutive years. Xiao mai is wheat, right? If I remember correctly, yeah, wheat. Xiao mai lian nian. So you have a bumper harvest、um, every like for consecutive years. So that's the literal one. And uh, 提早对提早提提早对提早对、um, gymnastics team, right? 提早 gymnastics 提早对、um, 提货丰收 I guess this is just happily obtained. Bumper harvest, so good results. 年年丰收，丰收在望。啊、uh, ，今年棉花丰收了，小麦丰收了。So figurative. 去年科幻小说创作，啊、uh, ，获得了大丰收。Yeah. So figurative. Okay. Anyway, that's 丰收 What's next? 以后。Home to kick up a fuss. Home. All right. This is not a very familiar word for me. I'm gonna say "qi hong." Create a disturbance. Hmm. All right. I want to look at this word first. Home. Fourth tone. So there is another word home. Oh, actually, that's why I've done all this. Hong, <laughs> uh, sorry, uh, on my tape, I can't really show you. I'll do it. I can do this. I can't really balance it. Yeah, that's the problem. I need to get my、um, stand or something. So, ah, Hong, Hong Shui, Hong Xiao, Hong, Hong. Hmm, there's a few of them. Maybe we can do it like this. So, did you know Plecker has this function? You go cha. We can look at the characters with this component.、Um, they're sorted in order of,、mm, in order of like frequency, like appearance frequency. Dong dai, gong bao bao hong. Yeah, this is hong shui de hong, right? Hong shui de hong. 宫殿一 ，this one， 红，对红红红 ，all right， 哦 ，sorry you can't see， 红红红 ，that's why I always get this wrong. That explains a lot more now. 红 ，why the three? I don't know. 霓<laughs> 裳。Oh, so this is Hong Li Sheng. So it's Li Sheng is an onomatopoeia. Hong Li Sheng, 观众都笑了
Okay, so maybe someone farted or something. Oh, it's so funny. <laughs> um, Hong Tai Wu Jia. Hong Tai Wu Jia. Jack up the price. Okay, Hong Tai. Usually you just say Jiang Jia. Jiang Jia. Uh, Hong Tang Da Xiao. I've encountered this one. Hong Tang Da Xiao. Hong Tran. Don't know this one. All right. So see all, okay, so that was the first tone one. There is a third tone one with the same character, Hong. It's like Pian, right? Are you tricking me? Um, this one. Um, so this is like, well, you coax them, you coax them into doing something you want them to do. So maybe Hong is like getting them to go to sleep. Um, you talk about like Nan Ren, Hong Yu Ren. It's like, it's like uh, Da Shan, <laughs> picking up or um, maybe, maybe not picking up or maybe just like getting them, maybe the lady is angry and the guy's like very smooth with the ladies. <laughs> All right. Hong. Uh, yeah, so you kind of you get the child to take their medicine. And what's the fourth the fourth tone one is the one we're looking at? Hong. Fourth tone. Lama horseplay. Alright. All right, so the fourth tone Hong is Qi Hong the Hong. That would explain why I don't really know. Qi Hong. Qi Hong. Two people together. Joke. Wu na. Wu na is like horseplay or fooling around or that sort of thing. Be run wild. Be mischievous. Dao luan. Dao luan is like I don't know. Cause chaos. Make or cause trouble, yeah. Qi Hong. Create a disturbance. Qi Qi Shema Hong Ah. Do Pai Hao. Uh, Pai Hao Dui. Yi Ge Ge Lai. Okay, so Pai Dui, meaning to queue up in this case. Um, Qi Hong. <laughs> so both Qi Hong and Pai Dui are used separately. So this is a several verb, it seems. Um, so maybe the qi is qi pla pla zuo yong, the qi. Um, but here it's qi hong. Okay. Bu de ju zhong qi hong. All right. No one, yeah, you're not allowed to ju zhong, form groups qi hong, cause disturbances. So this is jie, um, chao xiao, chao, chao xiao, chao xiao. Ren jia na wo kai xin, ni gan ma ye gen jie e qi hong. They're making fun of me, why do you join them with your jiers? All right. Qi hong, fourth tone hong. Hmm, what else do we need to know? Well, maybe we'll just get give us a few sentences. All right. Uh, thanks. Next is And we'll just call it there. I, I don't encounter this very often, but I do encounter it from time to time. Dang lao shi xuan bu yao jia kao shi shi. What is jia kao shi shi? Does this mean... Is this like... Um, add an extra test. I object. <laughs> I object to all these tests. To add a test. No,虚空, lose control. So at the concert, Yan Chang Hui, 
演唱会现场，因为有些粉丝起哄。So a handful of fans were causing a disturbance, um, and yeah, they lost control for a bit. 在比赛中，观众对裁判的判罚不满，呃，纷纷起哄。All right, so this is probably a sport, a football match. Um, penfa, penalty. So the taipan, the referee has given a penalty to a player, and they're upset about that. And instead of、um, gracefully accepting the judgment, they fun fun qi hong. They one by one, they all qi hong, create disturbance. Hong, hong na. 喧哗 ，We saw that one not too long ago. It was in this video, right? 喧哗 ，Yeah. 啊、uh, ，骚动 ，All right. So maybe that one's important. 安静，消静 ，No， 肃静，肃静，肃静，平静。嗯，名词，哄闹。I don't know about that. It's not in dictionary. Probably not worth learning. Anyway. I feel like I need to know that that word exists, but beyond that, yeah.、Oh, next, jinjo,、uh, jinjo. So, uh, oh, sorry. Uh, what can I do? I, I guess I do this. <laughs> jinjo, jinjo. You will look at these two characters and go. Well, <laughs>、uh, yeah. As far as I know, they only mean ginger. <laughs> the the ginger to jaw, jaw to ginger to jaw, ginger to gin, to ginger to gin.、Uh, that's that's about it.、Um, my understanding is this word was imported from another language. Is it Korean? I forget. Ginger, ginger, jaw. Second time. Oh, all right. 反思思考，呃，决定取取舍。Okay, so repeatedly mull over something and consider something, um, and decide whether to chew, keep it, or sure abandon it. I guess abandon something. 究竟是尚需斟酌。Yeah, so this matter we're yet to deliberate. Um, 斟酌处理。All right. 斟酌，你、yeah. ，it's a fairly rare word. It does exist. 斟酌，嗯、um, ，let's Google it. 斟酌 ，so I, it comes from some other language, right? So. 啊，出自唐，啊 ，OK， no， I am completely wrong. So it's from the Tang Dynasty. So what Jin to pour to deliberate, draw to deliberate. All right, no, all right. It seems I was completely wrong. Um, Jin draw. So thanks. Next is. Jin draw, first tone, second tone. Get your tones right. I gotta get my tones right too. Jin draw, Jin draw, Jin draw. Come on, come on. Upside down, upside down. Here's Mr. Spiegel with lots of. Hmm, <laughs> hurry up. That was Blackboard. Blackboard was my favorite. Anyway, um, what what am I waiting for? Is ChatGPT having issues? Um, no, it is not ChatGPT. It's on my end. I'm not sure what the problem is. All right, so let's. I'm not sure what to do. Jinjo. No, it is ChatGPT. <laughs> Down for everyone or just me? 
HTTP. Do that one. Do you know that website down for everyone or just no? It could just be a temporary thing. Yeah. One second ago, yeah. It's inconsistent. Down for everyone or just me. Uh all right. Yeah. Oh, here we go, here we go. It was a temporary blip. Oh, that yeah. Chenny uh Chenhong Li Bi Way up pros and cons. Uh Jin So he mulled over it. He deliberated for a long time. So it looks like it's good a good word to use when making a decision. This one. So Okay. So yeah, before making a decision you deliberate. Okay, that's a good one. Uh Jinjola No, I I do not accept that is correct. Jinjola make No. Um you probably just use Chesi. <laughs> um uh, Jinjola Soyo Jungju. So you it can take an object. So it doesn't have to be in relation to a decision. Alright. Maybe that is correct. Tajinjola <laughs> Megits. Did you notice? ChatGPT does this. This is one of the things I really like about ChatGPT. It's the word we were studying like half an hour ago or an hour ago. It has it hasn't forgotten. Sorry, it was my headphones. My headphones were connected by Bluetooth. Don't forget. It hasn't forgotten it. It slips them in uh, into the um, ex the future example sentences. Yeah, so ample market analysis, uh, market investigation and deliberation. Yeah, often you Chenhong Li Bi. So you want to work out if the li um, is bigger or smaller than the bi. Li da yu bi, li xiao yu bi. Quan hong li bi, you li ye you bi. Shen shen, what is shen shen? Prudent, cautious. That's not a verb. That's a verb. That's a verb. Jin zhuo is a verb. Cao shuan. Oh, try right, is reckless. Um, rash, rash is probably better. Careless, oh, okay. Careless, negligent, sloppy, not serious. Okay, how shrimp. This is not a verb. Sorry, Yeah, so you didn't deliberate. What? Uh, Hot and hot headed reckless. Yeah, alright. Um, what's next on the list? How are we going for time? Hour and a half. Um, oh, we're at the yeah, read the last word anyway. Chia <laughs> dang. Uh, Chia uh, dang means appropriate. Yeah, shi dang is another one. Huo dang, yeah, is another one again. So let's look at all three of those. Thanks. Next is Chia dang. Chia dang is appropriate. You often talk about um, a metaphor or a choice of word in a sentence being 
恰当不恰当。Um, yeah. So, would you describe the Queen of England as handsome? You would say, "Oh, this is a descriptive word, right? That adjective is not appropriate to describe the Queen of England." Um, 妥当，妥当，妥当 ，fourth, right? 妥当 and 适当，适当 is more like the level, the level of water in the swimming pool is appropriate. 适当 I think. 恰当 they all mean appropriate, right? 妥当啊 maybe I should use 轻巧恰当，适当，妥当，妥，妥当，妥当。Uh, I don't know. <laughs> 恰当呃合适 ，Yeah. 啊，贴切，符合实际情况和要求。Appropriate. Appropriate. 嗯，他的建议非常恰当，解决了我们的难题。Okay. So his suggestion was extremely appropriate, extremely apt. Yeah. You might say apt. 这个词用在这里非常恰当。This word used here is extremely appropriate, extremely apt. 表达了准确的意思。他选择的礼物恰到 no 恰当得体。Okay, 受到了大家的赞赏。So the the gift she、uh, chose is appropriate and dignified and fitting, maybe. 妥当。妥当，呃，绝，稳妥，周全，嗯，处理得当，得当。All right, this is just making me more confused. 啊，这件事你处理的很妥当，啊，大家都很满意。So this is just fitting, appropriate, appropriate, proper, yeah. 啊、uh, ，在这样的场合，这样的安排是最妥当的。All right. So, so unspecified occasion and unspecified plan arrangement, um, is a is most appropriate. 他妥当的安排了所有细节，确保活动顺利进行。So she appropriately arranged every all the details, um, to ensure the activity proceeded smoothly. Okay. So, so anpai seems to be a appropriate thing to describe as、uh, to be described by tordan. Shidan. Dai shidan de shu ho. Okay. So at the appropriate time. Ah,、uh, he will tell us this information. Um, appropriate time. Ah, 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 this information. Oh, okay. So, 孩子们需要适当的鼓励和指导，才能成长的更好。So, yeah. So these are combined together. An appropriate amount of encouragement and leadership, and only then can they grow even better. Okay. 恰当、妥当、适当。恰当，强调的是。合适且切切 ，no， that's really hard to say。合适且贴切，<笑>往往用于具体的事情或场景。The concrete matters and situations， <笑>表示非常符合要求或情况。非常恰当。Yeah， so I often see 恰当。Used for things like the adjective is not appropriate for describing the Queen of England, etc., etc. This thing is you handle it very well. Um, everyone is very happy. So this is appropriately held, 
handled. Okay, so we saw this with appropriately arranged, appropriately handled. Okay, so nothing is overlooked. Okay. 是的,强调的是符合一定条件或需要合适但不过分,适用于广泛的情况. So, yeah, an appropriate level, not too much. Uh, 适当的休息, yeah, an appropriate amount of um, rest. So this is like not too much rest. Like rest helps, but don't take it to an extreme. An appropriate amount of rest. We saw these. Yeah. All right, I get a little tired after doing this. Here we go. One hour and thirty-five minutes. Maybe we can finish it. Finish this chapter in the next video. Um. We don't. Yeah, we're not. We haven't. I haven't seen one of those you being sections for a while. The you being sections take a long time. Um, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Anyway. Thank you for watching. I'm going to have a rest. I will see you in the next video. Um, remember to, oh, remember to do the liking, subscribing, and I will see you later. Ciao, Bye.